North Shore Club played host to all 16 districts last week for the hotly contested Toro Men's Interprovincials. Following a waterlogged week, it was another soggy start for the semi-finals where defending champs Bay of Plenty took on Otago, who qualified by the narrowest of margins, a half point in an individual countback, seeing the Southerners into the final four. Bay of Plenty quickly showed the pedigree that seen them win seven of the last 11 titles. First to get a point on the board was last year's playoff hero, Victor Jannon, with a 5-3 and three win over Mark Brooks. The Bay were led expertly by unbeaten number one Peter Lee. His 7-6 romp of Brent McEwen secured the third and winning point. Bay of Plenty into yet another final with a 5-0 win over Otago. They would meet the winner of the matchup between Wellington and Manawatu Wanganui. The early initiative was taken by Hayden Ring as he beat Adam Church two up to have Manawatu Wanganui on track for their second consecutive final. Also going to the 18th hole was the battle of the number fours with Wellington's Peter Spearman Byrne falling to Trent Munn two up. Manawatu Wanganui now with two wins on the board. Wellington closed the ledger to two points to one thanks to Braden Maisie's two and one victory. But Manawatu Wanganui got the winning point through number two Tyler Hodge with a three and two defeat of Fraser McLaughlin. Josh Munn's young Manawatu Wanganui team beating Wellington three and a half to one and a half, setting up a rematch of last year's final with Bay of Plenty. The sun emerged at North Shore as Bay of Plenty went in hunt of their eighth Toro interprovincial title in 12 years. But it was Manawatu Wanganui number one Josh Munn leading by example, three up over the undefeated Peter Lee after four holes. That fight was mirrored by his teammate, number three Fraser McDonald, firing this approach into the sixth hole to go three up over the Bay's William Howard. Josh's brother Trent Munn was one down to Victor Jannon, but one here on the sixth hole to get back to all square. Manawatu Wanganui's fast start showed on the scoreboard, the province up in four matches against the favoured Bay of Plenty as each pairing went through the turn. If the Bay was to stop Manawatu Wanganui's momentum, then number five Charlie Hillier needed to produce some magic here on 18 to avoid defeat. His exquisite chip matched by Hayden Ring, who won two up, putting the first point on the board for Manawatu Wanganui. Further back in the field, the battle of the number one saw Josh Munn easily prevail in a lopsided clash with the previously unbeaten Peter Lee. His five and four needing just one more point to claim the trophy. Ahead on 18, brother Trent Munn and Bay of Plenty's Victor Jannon were deadlocked at all square. And when Munn's birdie putt slid by, it was over to Jannon to win the hole and steal the match for the Bay. Manawatu Wanganui now with two and a half points on the board. And when word came through that Tyler Hodge was dormant three up, there was no way they could be beaten. Celebrations began across the back nine as Manawatu Wanganui won their first Toru Interprovincial title in 49 years. It means everything for the for the team, Manawatu Wanganui. We've been all, all the same guys for the last three or four years in the same team and it's, and it's just great to finally, finally get one for the boys. Number three, Lockie McDonald claimed the player of the tournament honour as the Manawatu province again proved it's a breeding ground for talented young golfers. We went through nine, I saw that everyone was up apart from me, but um, I thought oh, yeah, we'll get this done, we'll be able to get this done. Uh, we knew we, we had the team to do it, so we just went out there and all guns blazing pretty much. Congratulations to Manawatu Wanganui, winners of the 2013 Toru Interprovincial.